Glücksfall. Hello, this is your friend James. Hello, people. <laughs> Windfall and hello, people of Germany. Glücksfall. Hello, this is your friend James. Before we start, we want to go ahead and uh, happy July. This is the celebration of American independence this month. Very, very important, 1776. So let's go ahead and get your um, the lesson in your language so you can do it because obviously I'm not um, going to be able to do it in German today, but let's listen. Glücksfall. Hallo. Verlangen bringt Entscheidung, Richtung und Schicksal. Was auch immer Sie sich wünschen oder begehren oder begehren, es beeinflusst Ihre Entscheidungen, groß und klein. Ändert oder verstärkt die Richtung Ihres Lebens und führt Sie zu einem Schicksal, gut oder schlecht. Positiv oder negativ, diese verborgene Kraft, Träume, Ziele, Ambitionen ist ein wichtiges Ruder für Ihr Lebensschiff. Verlangen Sie mit Bedacht. So, she is so chill, by the way, this girl. Whoever did this recording is so chill. But anyways, desire brings direction. Desire brings decision, direction, and destiny. What is, whatever you desire, you know, this is, now this includes, now I'm going to do this, but this includes bad stuff too. So think about for bad stuff too. Lust and coveting. This is this is stuff that you're not supposed to desire. Coveting after your neighbor's wife. Lusting after riches and gold. You know, just the money just to have. So whatever. So think about these things. Whatever you desire, it does affect your decisions, big and small. Positive or negative, it will affect your decisions, big or small. If you want to lose weight, if your desire is to lose weight, you will. Your small decisions, you know, are you going to snack between lunch and lunch and dinner? That small decision will help you not snack between lunch and dinner. If you desire to do, for, but a large decision, are you going to go eat at a huge buffet or stay in that evening or go exercise? Larger decisions. This desire does affect your decisions, both big and small, whatever you desire. We're talking about something that you long for. It does affect your decisions, big and small. It changes your destiny, reinforces this, of course, positive and negative. Negative desires will do that. Someone who likes to do pot, you know, someone who likes to go into sexual immorality, watch bad shows, you know, what will they do? They'll, they'll go, you know, they, they love evil. We'll say the pot, whatever. They'll do a small decision to go get the pot by themselves or do a large decision to start selling the pot. Why? Because they like pot. Okay, so big and small, it affects both large and small decisions. It changes and reinforces the direction of your life. These decisions, the, lust, the desire, which is the, the seat desire, lust, or whatever someone's lusting or coveting after, the desire does reinforce or change the direction of your life. So if you desire, you know, to start a business, this will either reinforce this desire, because some desires change. But if you make a decision, you desire to start a business, it will either uh, change the direction of your life if you were working for yourself now you're an entrepreneur or it will reinforce if your desire was to start a business and you now have a restaurant for 10 years if that is still a, if that is still the desire of your heart and you stick with that's why Jesus says don't leave your first love if you stick with that desire it will reinforce it and you will continue to go forward concerning that business but see this desire you know if someone wants to do I thought you came here to do music you're getting off. But if you're real, that's why people have to be reminded of their true desires and get with God and know what they are. Because someone can start music school and start going off in another direction because they forgot their first desire, their first love that they're going after. Of course, same thing. This works for bad stuff, too. Someone desires, you know, control over the country and the world and stuff like this. You know, you know, whatever. Their desire is wicked and evil. Then that it will either they can e it either change them from being a nice good person. Oh, I used to love people and be nice, but you know now I desire to just take money and have money. This lust, this covetousness. They were a good kid, but th then they got in the lust of money, and now they're pushing socialism or communism because they they got this. So that's changed the direction of their life. Or if it's evil, or whatever, they're a wicked person. Their desire is, you know, still taking all the money and having the money for themselves and lying, pretending it's for the climate, lying and pretending it's for education, whatever. They're going to, they're going to continue doing that after they've been confronted. Their desire will continue to reinforce the direction of their life towards wickedness and evil, pretending that they love the poor and they don't. 
Also, desire will bring you to a bring you to a destination. To a destiny. It will bring you to a destiny. Which obviously is destination. It will bring you to a destiny, good or bad. So, people of Germany, as you start in July, this will bring you to a destination. Uh, good or bad. If the desire is good and wholesome for a good family, a good country, uh, a business that or a church that affects the community positively, this desire will bring you to that destiny. If it's a wicked, evil desire, you know, I mean, we'll just say it. Some people like wars. Someone wants to sell arms and get people killed. You know, think about it. You could be a good arms dealer towards per, the, the towards godly, righteous countries or police. You know, police, you know, law enforcement, security, or you can be a wicked person who just wants to make as much money as they can. You'll send it, give it to a wicked person that will use it on their enemies, use it on Jerusalem, use it on Israel. I mean, come on, you know, someone who who will use it to take over their country. See that wicked, the lust. So you can have two, you can have positive and negative in the same field. There's nothing wrong with the firearms field. So, but this will bring you to a destiny. Either you know, you can be a legitimate. Smith and Wesson dealer or whatever, you know, making something, or you could be a black market person, but it brings you to a destiny of destruction if it's bad or a positive one. So either this is serious, it will bring you whatever you're desiring, lusting after, coveting after. I'm moving it all together. You're gonna end up somewhere. Positive or negative, this hidden force, these dreams, goals, and aspir ambitions, aspirations that people have is a major rudder for the ship of your life. This stuff is sending you in a particular direction. If you love, Jesus said, if you love father, mother, wife more than me, you're not worthy of me. So what's that mean? You know, you got to love God most. So if you love God more than that, it helps you make proper decisions and not put your parents over God or parents over your, your wife or parents over your kids. You know, think about it. Some people never left home or, you know, if it's a negative, you know, negative force, you know, they love the parent in the same concept. They love the parent more than God. The bear, what the parents think about them more than God. So what's that? They're going to go in that direction and they're going to, you know, run their ship away from God. Jesus was upset. The folks left their first love. So this will, this stuff, this is a hidden force. Dreams, goals, and ambitions are not something trivial. They will affect you, positive or negative. It will take you somewhere. The runner of your ship of your life. So my friends, desire wisely. Live, move, be.